with the incredibly talented Noah Cyrus, everybody. <laughs> How are you? No, you could. We love it every time. You so talk me through this this outfit. No, what's Lots happening of denim. here? Let's look at these pants. What's going on here? They're honestly, I have no idea. Where does one where does one find such a ruffled denim? My amazing stylist Asia actually made this for me. No. So way. yeah, everything I've been wearing is like made by Asia and Wow. It's, custom it's a triumph. I love denim, if you can't tell. Well, I told you you can have my hand-me-downs. I will. We did talk about this backstage. You're going <laughs> to give me your clothes. And no, that's very sweet. I don't think they'll fit me. I have a champion uh, crop top for you. I can't. <laughs> Jeffrey? <laughs> me and you get to Asia. We'll figure the whole thing out. <laughs> now, now I was, we were talking in the dressing room, and I noticed you've got a new tattoo from when you were here. Like you've got a... I don't know if we can get this on our camera. You've got a spider, got a spider in a web on your neck. Yeah. How many tattoos have you got in total? I've lost count. Really? Yeah, I've lost count, but like I'm sure it's not that many compared to like most like really tatted people. Like I feel like I'm not that tatted, but I just did my hand, but the spider, I actually woke up and I was like, oh, there's a spider on my neck. Cool. Like I didn't like think about it when I was doing it, really. But now I really like it. I have arachnophobia. I'm terrified of spiders. And most people would be like, you don't have arachnophobia. I have arachnophobia. There was a spider in my car yesterday, and I jumped out without putting it in park. Chased my car in the McDonald's right through. So do you ever catch yourself in the mirror, and you're like, get out! Oh, no, it's all. <laughs> Definitely okay. the first day. <laughs> but I think it's just getting me, like, kind of used to, like, my biggest fear, you yeah. know? Because, like, I just moved into a new house, and I saw a spider in the corner, and I was like, pack it up. We're going. We're moving. We're moving again. We're moving or I'm getting a tattoo. It's one of the two. Yeah, yeah. Now, you're performing a song tonight, uh, July, and there's whistling in the song. I can't But whistle. I know this for a fact. You can't whistle. Well, can you? Yes. But let's hear <laughs> no, do it for real. Go that on, is for real. I mean, that's just breathing. No, with, with no, your no. Lips like this. <laughs> so, who's doing the whistling on the song? That is PJ. I wrote the song with PJ Harding. Uh, he's an amazing writer. We were in Bali and we wrote the song together on a guitar out by like the pool. Oh, lovely. Um, yeah, really nice setting, yeah. but. Um, I don't know. I was like, this needs a whistle, but I, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he's... He stepped in. He stepped in. Now, we've already talked here, fashion's a huge part of your life. You've just launched a brand new clothing line. What can you tell us about this clothing line? It's actually, I teamed up with the Crystal uh, campaign mm -hmm. and for the Lonely Collection, which basically all the proceeds go to the Jed Foundation, which helps prevent... Uh, suicide and protects kids with mental health and just raises awareness that mental health is just as important as physical health and that's a huge topic. That's a huge topic. Yeah. Um, it's something very close to my heart. I've struggled with uh, anxiety and depression since I was 10 or 11 years old, so I think it's a huge topic and one of the things that I've always wanted to use this platform was to talk about my mental health and help young adults all around America and everywhere in the world know that they're not alone. And I think it's amazing what the Jed Foundation's doing. The Crystal yeah. Campaign helping me do this is amazing. You allowing me on the show to talk about it, thank you so much for having me. It's just something that I've always wanted to use as my platform for something good. And like all the anxieties that I have, use it for good and not evil. Don't let it take over my life like it has been for all of these years. I want to be able to talk about it and raise, raise awareness and let kids all around the world know that they're not alone. And well, that is a lovely thing. And thank you for sharing that. It's an incredible thing. When we come back, Noah will be performing July right here in the studio. You don't want to miss it. Come on back. Everybody.